we need more affordable treatment. And we need them quickly. When you talk to patients, even tomorrow is too late. Patients want the drug today. They want the treatment, the cure ASAP. Tomorrow is too late. What they don't want from us is excuses. I'm actually not pessimistic. I would be pessimistic if this sort of debate was not starting. I would be pessimistic if people were saying, actually the model works and it's going to work in 2030, 2040 and 2050. But I do not think that is what is being said. I think the start of it has to be the first acknowledgement of, of what the issue is, and then the question of who needs to be part of that debate going forward, and what role can we all play? Because the truth is, none of us are at the scale that is required to actually change this on our own. Sharing risks and sharing the rewards, but what does sharing rewards actually look like? How you do it is where it becomes quite hard. How do you really welcome that experimentation, exploration? Who sets the mission? Is it kind of a Kennedy top-down thing, or do we actually really interact with movements, social movements? You need people you need infrastructure and you need money and without one component of those you're really going to frustrate and disappoint quite a lot of people. The more open the system is, the more open the economy is, the more transactions of value you could have. The real key thing that we're trying to do here is democratize access to medical information and push innov innovation forward as quickly and efficiently as possible. I love the idea of the spine, that's why I came here from Oxford today to meet you all. Um, it, Theoretically, this is precisely the structure that you need to promote the kind of organic development of innovation that, that, that we all envisage. Anything where there's people transfer and an open-mindedness and a transparency, if you've got a common aim and objective, you know, it has to be a good thing. It's a mad idea until it's proven. Mm. And this will not, it will not happen within existing structures. It will take entrepreneurs and dreamers and idealists and people with vision. And then they'll all come. They'll all, oh, I thought about it, I was miles ahead of it before Greg came up with it. I thought about it 20 years ago. That's what will happen. You've got to stop having philosophy. You've got to actually get on and do it. And who knows whether you're going to be right. But what I tell you is fortune favours the brave. <laughs>